I'm a bit late jumping on the bandwagon with this because we are in week five of the season, but I thought I'd start doing some championship predictions. How long will I be bothered to do them for? Who knows? But they're here for now. So I hope you do enjoy them. I'm going to try to make them as fast as I possibly can, try to cut out all the fluff and guff and just give you straight score predictions. There's very little thought or logic that goes into these predictions, as you will soon see, because I only really have one rule, and that rule is... Oxford always win. Oxford always win. So without further ado, let's jump into these predictions. You don't really need me on camera for this bit. So let's start on Friday night with Hull City against Sheffield United. It's been a tough start for Hull. And I think the Blades are going to get a win here. I think Chrissy Wilder's boys are going to come back from Hull with a 2-0 win. Moving on to Saturday, 12.30 fixtures. A huge game at Ellen Road between two of the early title favourites, Leeds versus Burnley. And this should be an absolute cracker. And I actually think Leeds are going to edge it. I'm going to go for 2-1 to Leeds. Millwall versus Luton. That always seems like that's going to be a tasty encounter. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few red cards in this one. Both sides haven't done great to start the season. And I think it is going to be honours even at the new den. I'm going for a 1-1 draw. Without a shadow of a doubt, the game of the weekend. How can it not be? It's Oxford United versus Stoke City. Can't even remember the last time we played Stoke in the league. But Oxford have had a decent start to life back in the championship. And I've also got my golden rule of Oxford always win. And so far at home, we have. It's going to be another home win for the U's. Let me know what you think about that, Stoke fans. I'm going for Oxford United 2, Stoke City 1. Blackburn versus Bristol City and Blackburn have had an excellent start, surpassing a lot of people's early expectations. Bristol City, a little bit inconsistent over Liam Manning, but I do think this one is going to end all square. I'm going for another 1-1 draw. Derby County versus Cardiff City. Lot of talk about Paul Warren struggling at the start of this season, but he's proving those doubters wrong and his Derby side are looking pretty good to start the season. And I think they're going to get another home win here over a Cardiff side who are really struggling. I'm going for Derby County 1, Cardiff City 0. Moving up to the northeast, then it's Middlesbrough versus Preston North End. You have to fancy a borough in this one. They've started pretty decently under Michael Carrick. Preston struggling a little bit. They weren't great last week in their defeat to Oxford. Not a pretty game, not a flashy game, but Middlesbrough will do enough to win it. I think it's going to be Middlesbrough 1, Preston North End 0. No wins yet for Plymouth and a lot of people did think they would struggle with Wayne Rooney in charge and this is an acid test for them. Sunderland have been perfect so far this season. The only blemish on their copybook is one goal they've conceded but it's been four wins for the Black Cats. I think this is going to be a fifth win in a row. I think it's going to be pretty one-sided affair. Plymouth Argyle nil, Sunderland three. Five wins to start the season, Sunderland fans. Do you start thinking about the Premier League already? Over to Hillsborough we go, and I think this is going to be the highest scoring game of the weekend. Sheffield Wednesday versus QPR. I think it's going to be a real back and forth game with both sides going for it. I don't think Wednesday can rely on their defence to hold out anything from what I've seen so far. So I think they're just going to have to go for it and try and outscore a QPR side who look like they're capable of beating anyone. Could be a classic. I think Wednesday are going to win it though. I'm going to go for Sheffield Wednesday 3, Queen's Park Rangers 2. Swansea City versus Norwich City. Uh, I really fancy the Canaries in this one. It's been a difficult start for um, Jonas Thorup, but I think they're just starting to find their feet under him now. And I think they're going to have too much quality for the Swans. And I'm going to go for Swansea City nil, Norwich City 2. Watford versus Coventry City. I don't think many people would have thought Watford would be in third place at this point of the season. They've had an excellent start to life under Tom Cleverley. Coventry being a bit inconsistent and it surprised me a little bit because I thought they were very good when they played against Oxford. But other than that, they seem to have struggled. And I think this one could be a decent game and I'm actually going to go for a high scoring draw. A Desmond handshakes all round. 2-2. Two -two. And we end one Sunday with Portsmouth versus West Bromwich Albion. Most people would have West Brom winning this game, but not me. I think Portsmouth are a very tough side to beat. They don't lose many games. I know they haven't won a game yet in the league, but I think they're going to be good enough to get a point here. I don't think it's going to be a great game by any stretch of the imagination. 
And I think it's going to be another draw for Pompey. It's going to end Portsmouth nil, West Bromwich Albion nil. So there it is, folks. There's my first weeks, even though it's week five, of predictions for the championship. Hope you did enjoy it. Leave your comments of how crazy and mad I am, I am down below. And you can also leave your predictions down below as well. I'll be back to do another predictions video next week. I'll also do my standard review of Oxford United's game against Stoke on Saturday. If you like this video, please hit like. And if you like the channel, then please subscribe because that does help me out a ton. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.